it's a year after initial release, but we're finally here, the print release of Halo New Blood. I gave my thoughts on the book a while back, giving it a 9 out of 10 in the end. If you want to see that, click the annotation on the screen or check the description box. Today, however, we're going to talk about the print edition itself and the bonus 5-page coda included in it. I'll be honest, glad as I am to have it in physical form, there are a couple issues I must bring up. First, and this is very much a personal grievance, I wish this had been released as a sort of Halo Evolutions 2, a compilation of the digital-only novels from last year. I mean, sure, Shadow of Intent may eventually get a print release, but does anyone honestly think that Saint's testimony is ever going to come to print without being paired with something else? Because I don't. Second grievance has to do with the coda itself. As I mentioned in a cannon fodder video not long ago, its very existence kind of feels like a middle finger to those who bought the digital novel when it was released last year. As of the making of this video, people who bought the novel digitally can either choose to spend the extra $7 to buy the book on Amazon, or wait for a summary to go up on Halopedia. As I mentioned in the same cannon fodder video, this sort of thing happened once before when Halo Evolutions was re-released in 2010 as two volumes, each volume including a bonus story not included in the original print. 343, please, make this bonus story available to digital owners. Hell, I'm sure dedicated fans would even be willing to pay a small fee to read it. It's better than paying $7 for five pages. But, all that aside, how is the coda? It's... it's okay. I mean, it's a five-page conversation between Veronica and Buck just prior to Halo 5 Guardians. Nothing revolutionary. Buck and Veronica have the same great chemistry present throughout the main story, and getting to hear from them both between the end of that story and the start of Halo 5 is just nice. We also get a brief mention of Buck being glad to not have to work with Romeo anymore, along with a hint of what sort of missions Osiris would be handling. As many speculated, Osiris was a specially created team meant to bring a group of uniquely qualified individuals together. The Avengers parallel many people latched onto during the reveal of Halo 5's opening seems even more apt. It also brings forward an interesting parallel between Bungie and 343 in the real world and Blue Team and Osiris in Halo 5. Blue Team, the Spartans raised from a young age together, and Bungie, the game developer that naturally grew up in the industry. They are, for lack of a better word, opposed by Osiris and 343 Industries respectively, two teams purpose-built for certain tasks. I'm not trying to say anything or start a fight. Please don't start a fight. I just found it to be an interesting parallel. If I had one complaint, it's that, at one point, Veronica notes Locke is Oni through and through, which would seem to fly in the face of not only Halo 5, but Halo Nightfall. Nightfall was said to show characters questioning everything, and in Halo 5, Locke seems pretty adamant that the Arbiter sees him as a Spartan rather than Oni. It's possible I'm reading too much into things here, it's possible that Locke was just trying to make the Arbiter feel at ease, but I thought it was worth pointing out nonetheless. Still, as I said at the start, it's a nice addition to the narrative that drops readers at the door of Halo 5. Would have been nicer to have that a little sooner, but, you know. If you haven't gotten the book yet, getting the print edition is obviously the way to go. If you got the digital edition and don't want to pay $7 for 5 pages, well, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching and until next time, this has been Halo Canon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.